Hey guys, welcome back to Classic G-Body Garage. Sitting here in front of me is my 1980 Cutlass Supreme. Now since I've been bringing these cars home from their storage facility where they've been sitting for nine plus years, I figure I'd start doing some more videos of these cars for those who are not regulars to my channel and uh, who are viewing these cars for the very first time. And for those who are not regulars of my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button there on the bottom because I'm sure you won't be disappointed with the videos that I have on my channel. All sorts of great stuff on there, so be sure you check those out. And I'll go ahead and link the video playlist of this car in the uh, upper portion of this video, so click on that and check out all the other videos I have of this car. So, just a, a real quick uh, introduction of this car. This, I'm 39 years old, and I bought this car when I was 16, October 21st, 1992. And right now it is October 23rd, or 25th, 2015. So that marks 23 years of ownership of this car. So not many people out there still have their very first car, so I'm proud to say that I still own it. I've tossed around selling it from time to time. I'm still kind of torn about that because I have many other cars that I, I do like a lot more, but this one does have a whole lot of sentimental value to me. And this car definitely did not look like this when I bought it. So I've done a lot of work to this car. I painted it full paint job uh, back in 1995-96, right after high school. Uh, tore into this car, pulled the original 260 out of it, put an Olds 350 turbo 350 transmission. So let me open it up and show you what we're looking like inside. This is a pretty basic car, bench seat, no power, anything. Locks, windows, power seat, doesn't have delay wipers, it does have tilt and AC. And when I bought it, it had the standard plastic, hard plastic steering wheel. It didn't have the, the three spoke wheel like you see here. And it also did not have the full gauge package. It had the, uh, the original sweep style speedometer, that just big speedometer that goes all the way across. So I swapped those out and I have a video for those who want to swap out these rally gauges uh, from your standard speedo so i will go ahead and link that video right now so make sure you click on that if you want to learn how to swap a gauge cluster into your 78 to 88 cutlass it is not as easy as you might think so be sure you check that out but this interior is 100 percent original other than the cluster like i showed you and the uh, speedometer and i did do the headliner in it so that is the only piece that has been replaced but everything else is just as you see it from 1980. It does have a little bit of a wear and tear over the years, but but really, after all these years, it is in pretty nice shape. Original carpet, uh, I did replace the sill plates with brand new sill plates from General Motors, but everything else is just as you see it. So it is very, very nice shape. The dash isn't cracked or anything like that. Pull back the seat here and show you what we're looking like inside. So it is a very clean car. Let me open up the hood. Let me show you what we got packing here under the hood. Got the air cleaner off this because I wanted to uh, build a dual snorkel air cleaner for this, so I've just had it off. I have a chrome air cleaner for it that uh, I think is sitting in the trunk. Looks like the carburetor might be Oh yeah, look at that seeping right there. So I'm going to have to snug that up. Or maybe that nylon gasket went bad. Oh, and speaking of quadrajets, I have a full rebuild, detailed, very detailed rebuild video on these quadrajets. So I'll go ahead and link that one right now. I uh, figure I'd just start promoting all my videos within my videos. But I have a lot of cool stuff on my channel, like I said. So if you want to learn how to rebuild uh, your typical quadrajet like this one sitting here, non-computer controlled quadrajet. Go ahead and click on that video link. Very, very cool video, and it, help, it has helped out a lot of people so far. So this is what we're looking like under the hood. Standard Olds 350 out of a 77 Cutlass, I believe is what it was. Never rebuilt it, just replaced all the gaskets in it way back in the day when I was a lot younger, and uh, painted it up and, and dropped it into this car. So it's been in this car for quite a while now, about 20 years. So it's it's uh, it's been been a good runner. Put a lot of miles on it since it's been in this car. Ran it down the drag strip a couple of times, and 
uh, the uh, the paint and body on this car, like I said, I painted it. Did a little body work in 95, painted it in 96 or so, 97. I don't exactly remember when, but I did a whole lot of work on this car to make sure it has that smooth as glass finish. This car is about as straight as you can get. And I also had the uh, pinstriping, had a guy brush this on just like the factory, so that is not tape, that is true brush paint pinstriping. And you can see how nice and straight this this car is. So it is, uh, it's pretty flawless. So I'm very proud of this paint job that I did at such a young age. And and if you uh, check out, actually let me start off for you guys. If you check out my channel, I have all these other cars that I will be working on doing the same thing that I did with this car. So be sure you hit that subscribe button. Starts right up every time. Never had a problem with this car. Runs excellent. Sounds good, runs good. Just a fun cruiser. Fast idle's kicking on already. It's cold out. Give you guys a little listen. That old 350 is rumbling nice. So there you go. One last walk around of my 1980 Cutlass Supreme. 23 years of ownership. So not many people can say that. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Checking out the videos that I have on my channel here at Classic G Body Garage. Until the next classic G-Body Garage video, keep those G-Bodies rolling.